Thanks, guys. Scott Van Pelt reporting for Sports Center. As we all know, Pongtoberfest is happening right now. Right now. What we have for you guys is the top 10 Pongtoberfest interview moments. Hold on to your balls and get ready to call your mothers because this thing is full of emotion. All right, here we go. Number 10. Orange in the back. Hey Tom, we really value your opinion. What do you think sets Punktoberfest athletes apart from other finely tuned athletes? He or she has the ability to create new and better realities and improve conditions. Uh, yellow in the back. Mr. Cruz, Mr. Cruz, how'd you like those Punktoberfest rules? R rules are good. Rules are good. That policy to me has really gone, boy. And every and I've, I. There's a time I went through and I said, you know what? When I read it, I, you know, I just went, this is it. This is exactly it. Uh, orange in the back corner. Tom, are you dedicated to this game? I am. Dedicated to this game. I am dedicated to that. I'm going to, I'm absolutely, uncompromisingly dedicated to this game. Uh, the orange in the back. <laughs> Tom, how do you feel about Flip completely ditching Johnny to play with Vance? My opinion is, is that, look, you're either on board or you're not on board, okay? But just, if you're on board, you're on board just like the rest of us, period. Orange in the back corner. Hey, man, I can't believe Affleck this you this close to the tourney. How's your new partner, Glory Bootsy Boy, this working out this close to the tourney? Uh -huh. yeah. oh, oh. I think that's a really scary thing because um, I don't know anything about her. Uh, I don't think in eight weeks I'm going to know anything about her. John Owens ditched too. How do you feel about Flip playing with Vance instead? Better be dark. You know, it's just it's it's absurd. It's totally absurd, and I don't understand why more people aren't talking about how absurd it is. I I. I it, it, it's a really terrifying uh, possibility. The fact that we've gotten this far and, and we're that close to this being a reality is crazy. Why do you think Flip did it? I just don't understand. Uh, I think the pick was made for political purposes. Orange in the back. How big do you think the Pontoberfest is gonna be? Yeah. Print media, they gonna hype it up? NBC is going to hype it up, ESPN is going to hype it up, the China station is going to hype it up, the Yugoslavia station is going to hype it up, everybody's going to hype it up, and it will be the most televised watched game in the history of all sports. people at Pongtoberfest. You have a sprained wrist, you're dealing with legal allegations, you're the genius behind Super Freak, yet you are still adamant in playing in this year's Pongtoberfest tournament. Tell me, Darkness, what is it that keeps you coming back? Ooh. Darkness. Ooh. Ooh. I had to get back to the smell of funk, streets, pimps, hoes, gangsters, black, soul food, collard greens, Black Eyed Peas, Candy Elms, little cramped in room discos. Everybody's like just having fun, all cramped in, sweating. I had to get back to that, man. I had to get back to the roots. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, you got such mad skills, the people want to know. Are you even going to practice for this year's Pumptoberfest? I mean, it, listen, we talking about practice. Not a game, not a game, not a game. We talking about practice. Not a game, not a, not a, not the game that I go out there and, and die for, and play every game like it's my last. Not the game. We're talking about practice, man. Oh, not trying to upset you, man. Don't you think you owe it to your partner to practice? I know I'm supposed to be there. I know I'm supposed to lead by example. I know that, and I'm not I'm not shoving it aside, you know, like it don't mean anything. I know it's important. I do. I honestly do. But we talking about practice, man. What are we talking about? Practice? We talking about practice, man. Orange in the back. Orange in the back. Orange in the back. How do you feel about the Pong Committee mentioning you in this year's invitation? Yeah. Just because it's in print doesn't mean it's the gospel. 
people write negative things because they feel that's what sells. Mm -hmm. Good news to them doesn't sell. Do you feel like you were mistreated at last year's Pontoberfest? I asked to use the restroom and they said sure it's right around the corner there. Once I went in the restroom they locked me in there for like 45 minutes. There was doo-doo feces thrown all over the walls, the floor, the ceiling, and it stunk so bad. Hey, Michael, what would you say to those who criticize the way you play the game of beer pong? <laughs> well, I would tell them I love them very much, and I, I um, they've learned about me and know about me from a distance. There's a lot of people, including myself, that were surprised at your decision to play in this year's tournament. Could you uh, give us some insight in how that decision came about? Wait a minute, how do you know your vagina is depressed? There are symptoms. Please, just moment your time to discuss your involvement in this year's tournament, please. Like what? It can't meet its deadline? It always wants to go to Krispy Kreme. Ladies, ladies, really, what, could you just give us a moment of your time to talk about your involvement with this year's tournament? Oh, ha ha, <laughs> it's so funny, my vagina is depressed. <laughs> I might have vulvodynia. Vulva what ya? Oh, 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 no! Where you guys going? beer pong racers from last year challenging your team to a race. <laughs> if I were those guys, I would wait. You know, I, th I, think that, I think this race is going to get a lot harder and, and our team won't look the same or feel the same in, in the third week as it does now. It's, too, it's still too close. What do you feel about Johnny moving out to Las Vegas? Johnny who? I mean, probably. Look, he should have looked around and just said, no, I'm not going to work. I'm going back. Yeah, in the back. In the back. Mr. Jackson, how are you going to prepare for this year's tournament? Hamburgers. The cornerstone of any nutritious breakfast. What kind? Big Kahuna Burger. That's that Hawaiian burger joint. Sam, actually this year we're serving pizza. Mm-hmm. This is a tasty burger. Why can't you guys just serve both? I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. Oh, <laughs> oh Sam, uh, can we just get some insight on how you plan on coming at your opponents on the game day? I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. Go, 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 I'm back in the blue. Hey, uh, Coach, how do you feel about going five turns without making one shot? Yeah, yeah. Holy crap, I don't know who the hell we think when we are when we do something like that. Unbelievable. Five turnovers. You'd still come out of the loser bracket and make the playoffs. Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs? You kidding me? Playoffs? I just hope we can win a game. Another game. Sweet sugar cookies. God, I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. All right, let's use some of those motivational words that we just saw to make this second half of Punktoberfest all that it can be. This is Scott Van Pelt reporting for SportsCenter, and I'm reminding you, keep those balls wet.